Hey, so welcome out to the Connect blog. Today I want to talk about art appreciation and a specific variation of art appreciation, radical art appreciation. Now where regular art appreciation might be summarized as the art of falling in love with art, radical art appreciation then is the art of falling in love with art that you don't like or even hate or have been indifferent towards. Now that the term radical art appreciation as far as I know is something that I'm coining but it's something that I've seen people do over the years and it's something that I've tried and I think more elementally it's anchored in an age-old insight which is challenge how you react to things you know try to understand why you behave the way you behave in given environments why certain things affect you the way that they do and it's it's not it's not a it's not a, a process to undermine your instinct but rather a process a process to gain more tools to enhance that instinct and i think the the the, the fundamentally brave and difficult thing about radical art appreciation is you have to be willing to seek out something that you don't like specifically a creative work and and it's it's not just painting it's you know it could be film it could be music it could be food just any creative thing but it's it's the willingness to sit with this creative thing having sought it out and explore it ask questions about it if it helps step back and be objective about it and ask and make objective observations about it or if you're not if that's not really doing it for you you can research the artist and uh, you know what went into the making of the piece and, and get kind of get a feel for the ecosystem that produced that piece so to speak um, it's really quite interesting to do and importantly it's not an opportunity to make fun of anyone who's creating anything um, it's it's again it's just it's more about your own experience and and really analyzing yourself so I guess kind of uh, in summary of all this I feel like radical art appreciation um, in addition of course to regular art appreciation it's a bite-sized uh, opportunity to tackle uh, the onslaught I guess of daily uncomfortable nonsensical seemingly useless and mediocre things and it's a it's a way to start building a resistance to those things and once you have that resistance begin to then creatively and organically turn it around to where you can appreciate more things and at this at this point I'm talking more mostly about my own experience because you know this having my having tried it this has kind of been more what I'm getting out of life I think because I'm trying to radically appreciate things and art again is kind of a gateway to do that so that, that's a challenge is next time you have an opportunity seek out a song seek out an art piece seek seek out a YouTube video and that you don't like and that you know you're not gonna like and then try to radically appreciate it alright thank you very much and I'll see you at the next blog